What's going on guys, Gigi1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I want to talk to you guys about one of the upcoming DLC cars that is most likely going to be coming out with heists pretty soon here. So today we are going to discuss the name of the car, which has since been confirmed, we're going to take a look at all the shots of it that we've gotten so far, and we're also going to discuss the price, what we can expect it to cost. So lastly, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for daily awesome Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. So with that, why don't we get into it? Alright, so here's one of the new screenshots of the car that we just got today from the Rockstar Newswire in an asked and answered that they did, and like I said, they confirmed the name of the car. So this car is called the Karen Karuma. Now after reading through the comments on my last videos where I did show a few glimpses of this car, a few of my subscribers pointed out that this car might be modeled after the real life Mitsubishi Evo X, and after comparing the two, I can absolutely agree that this is what that car is modeled after. I mean from the overall body shape, to the lines going down the side, to the front grille and the headlights, and even the spoiler on the back, everything pretty much lines up that the, uh, the Karen Karuma is directly modeled after the Mitsubishi Evo X. Obviously the biggest difference being the fact that the one in GTA 5 is fully armored. But anyways, back to the GTA 5 picture now, this thing is really beefy for a sports car. I mean, it is a beefcake. It's got a matte paint job, it's got armor on it, and overall it just looks really sweet. Now unfortunately, this picture that you're looking at the Rockstar gave us today is relatively small, so the resolution isn't the greatest, but if we take a look at the screenshots that we got of it yesterday as well, just to recap, we can see that this shot is a lot higher resolution, a lot more clear and more sharp, so it's easier to pick out the details, but once again, from head on, this thing looks really cool. You've got a nice little hood vent on the front there, you can see the armor over the windshield, and overall, it just looks like a vehicle that's really cut out well for heists. So then moving on to the final screenshot here, this is one where it really looks like the Mitsubishi Evo. I mean, it's got that body shape totally going on, and once again, it just looks good. The armor looks sweet. It looks a little more shiny in this one. It's hard to tell if this one's actually matte or if the hood's actually got some gloss to it, but either way, it's looking good. So now we are going to switch over to the one clip that we actually have of it driving, and then we're going to discuss the price, what it's going to cost. So I've slowed this down as much as possible because this all happens pretty quick here, but this is the only shot we have of it driving, and then here it is being carried away, so I'm just going to loop this a couple times. Obviously, uh, as it is in real life, you know, this this is a sports car. This is not going to be a supercar or anything like that. It's not super exotic. It's going to be relatively quick, but due to its armor, I don't know. That might slow it down, but either way, you know, there's not too much that you can pull away from this single shot of it driving uh, until we actually get to drive it ourselves or see some more handling of it, but chances are it's still going to make a pretty good getaway car because it's still going to be relatively quick and nimble, but also have that durability. So now, why don't we discuss the price? We're going to try to figure it out by comparing it to two other sports cars that are already in GTA Online, and those are the Masakro and the Jester. So if you'd like to buy the Masakro in GTA Online, it's going to cost you $275,000 from LegendaryMotorsports.net. And then the Jester, on the other hand, is still going to cost you $240,000, also on LegendaryMotorsport.net. So you've got $240,000 and $275,000. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the Karen Karuma or Mitsubishi Evo X might cost in GTA Online. Uh, there are a few things we need to consider. For one, the Masakuro and the Jester both just look more exotic than the Karuma. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Karuma looks good and everything, but in my opinion, the Masakuro and the Jester just look cooler, more exotic, and more high-end than the Karuma. So that would suggest that the price of the Karuma is going to be lower than the other two. But then on the other hand, the Karuma is heavily armored, which would add value. It would make it more desirable. You know, it's not just some uh, dinky little sports car. This thing is like a miniature tank that's still pretty quick and nimble. So that would actually add value. So I don't know, maybe those two things will cancel out. It's kind of hard to say what it's going to cost. If I had to give you my best guess, being that the other two are 275 and 240, I would say it's probably going to cost 250 to 300 thousand dollars. I really don't see it going over 300,000, maybe 300 even, but that's my guess. Uh, you know, you're entitled to your own as well. So guys, that pretty much wraps up my discussion on the new Karen Karuma coming to GTA Online pretty soon here, probably when heists launch. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you are subscribed for more videos in the future. And also, if there's anything you think I missed or that I should have mentioned, tell me down below in the comments. I will be reading them as always. So with that, guys, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.